Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. I'm the method actor who plays Paul Pluto. And today, guys, I've got a little disclosure. I've got a, um, a free watch from Undone. The guys at Undone. And uh, I want to make that disclosure because so many, so many videos these days, they basically, they make it seem they're reviewing these really cheap brands they've got amazon links in the description they got every piece of marketing that you could possibly think of to promote the watches and uh i i want to come completely honest i want to be honest with the audience and say look i i um i do occasionally get pieces to review and uh that's what's what's happened with undone themselves there so no financial no no money came my way they um they basically uh asked me if i'd like a free watch which i could review which i'm i'm happy to do but i, I do want to disclose that because so many people make it seem like an infomercial where this watch is so great it's so cheap and it's all just bullshit so uh yeah, so so let's have a look at it. This let's be, and I'll, I gotta be honest with you. Yes, I did get the watch for free, but I like to be truthful in what I say. So uh, we'll see if I get any more. So um, this is the the undone. This is the undone, and uh, I I gotta say, in all honesty, there undone itself. There, I I think this is quite a uh, a cool sort of box that they have. Um, you know, it's, it's not a wooden paddock box, but it's it's kind of uh, retro, very very retro. Doesn't really have a smell to it, but it's a, it's a retro cloth coloured box, sort of very vintagey. It's got a leather strap with the buckle. Very 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 cute how they've done it. Uh, and it says undone. This is the Urban Hybrid Mechanical Quartz Chronograph. So um, it's got the date date of purchase here well in this case here i didn't purchase it they they sent it to me so so let's have a a look so we undo that and we've got two pieces of paper what have we got here we've got a uh, a really retro retro this is what's this like i don't know what it is it looks cool enough it's cool enough and we got a little uh instruction booklet there yep that's 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 nice enough done there nothing special nothing well it, it, it's cool it's cool it's cool then inside the box here we've got the timepiece so uh let's have a look so it, it's pretty clever how they've they've done that it's got slot for the watch plus a an extra strap there quite quite clever Okay, so, so let's have a look at this watch here. Uh, what do I think? And uh, this this watch here um, is actually part of their regatta line. You know, yachting, yachting, and and uh, it's always interesting with 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 uh, with boats and that. There, they they always like to um, they always like to. It's very very posh and. That's kind of what they they do there. So uh, let's 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 just have a bit of a a look at this here. Um, what what is it? What can I tell you about this? Um, official launch date is October six. Well, we're actually a little bit past that. Yep, I had some legal problems, uh, but that's all over. That's resolved. Please tell your audience to click on this link for the teaser video. Okay, I'll put that in the description. I haven't even seen this video yet, but I'm sure it's corporate and okay. Uh, you can tell them to sign up to our newsletter and get a discount code when the official launch comes around 6th of October. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll put that up. We'll put that up there. So... Um, They've said to me, because I was running a bit late, can you move straight to the review of the regatta? The regatta, okay. So so, so let's let's have a bit of a sticky beak at it there. Now, undone themselves there, 
these are quite reasonably priced. They're not thousands of dollars. They're um, a couple hundred dollars. Uh, quite well done, i got to say. Very, very retro looking type watch there. Uh, the regatta itself there. So th this is basically similar to the, the other Undone I had there. This is a PVD. And uh, the thing with Undone is they do special customization. So you can see there, this is customization there. Uh, official, what does it say here? It says official timing partnership, Archie Luxury, limited edition, one of 200. Wow, that really sounds, really sounds special there. That's, that's really cool. Uh, what's well, cool for me and my ego? Uh, what does the watch do? So, so let, let's have a look. We, it works as a stopwatch, which is a pretty, that's a pretty cool, that is a pretty cool thing, I must say. Uh, a stopwatch itself. Uh, yep, that's cool. That's cool. Um, very, very cool looking watch indeed there. Uh, and it works as a flyback. I think it's a flyback chrono. It's a mecha quartz, which means basically it is a uh, quartz movement with quartz movement with a mechanical chronograph function. It's Cartier did it years ago. Cartier did it. Uh, I used to have a Cartier Tank Francais chronograph, and they they did a similar thing there. Uh, what do I think? Um, what do I think about this this uh, watch here itself? I think it's pretty good, pretty good sort of bang per buck. I think it's quite a nice watch. Um, look, look, how does it compare to say my uh, my my expensive my Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon? Well, obviously. We're looking at two different pricing angles there. And uh, I mean, this is several hundred dollars and this is, you know, two to three thousand US dollars. Um, they're two different, very, very different things. Um, I mean, look, look, for an affordable watch with a retro flavor, I think it could be pretty cool. I can see that this type of watch here, if you've got a business, say you've got a business and you're a bit of a, a watch connoisseur uh, and you'd like to give a corporate gift, you could certainly get some samples done from this firm. You could have customized, you could do a, a production run. I think that'd be cool enough. You know, I think they're cool. They're using a Seiko movement, I believe, in them, which is pretty reliable. Look, this isn't high-end horology, but uh, the price point is quite reasonable. Um, what do I think of it? I, I think it's, I think it's okay. I'm, I'm not a big fan of PVD. I'm not a huge fan, but mind you, the price point of this is so reasonable. Does it matter? Does it really matter? So, um, I gotta say, I think this watch here is pretty, uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Is it the greatest watch? <laughs> For the money? Not really. No, it's a couple hundred dollar watch. It doesn't compare to, uh, to say, anything in my box here. You know, like a Tudor Black Bay. I mean, th th these are expensive watches. Yeah. Explorer 2, Vintage, Breguet, Amiga, and uh, a Tudor. You know, that, it, it's not in the same league. Of course not. I mean, you'd have to have rocks in your head to think that it's in the same league. <laughs> I mean, but... You know, as a promotional type thing to to give. If someone gave me one of these, um, would I keep it or or throw it away or or what would I? I, I reckon it's 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 retro. It's cool. Um, I'd <laughs> I'd um, they gave. I got to be honest with you. They gave me a few because they kind of. I better not. I don't know if I should tell you this or not. But they gave me about three of the bastards on the previous launch. And uh, I gave a few away. I gave two, two of my sons I gave one to. And, oh, and I gave one to John Suckerhorn. <laughs> one to John Suckerhorn and uh, one to, to two of my sons. Two sons and a John Suckerhorn. So that was three. And uh, yeah, they're, they're all gone there, actually. So yeah, 
I think I think they are a cool watch. They're a cool watch. They are cool. They are very, you know, that they, they are a that they're, they're, they're a affordable, cool watch. I mean, if you want to do a vintage sort of promotion, something that's, you know, not ridiculously priced, I I, I think they're okay. I think they are okay. Uh, there's nothing nothing wrong with them at all there. Uh, undone makes a few interesting pieces. They've got a, quite a few. Uh, are they the greatest watch uh, on planet Earth? Probably not. Look, it's 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 in that price range. But uh, but I really like the retro, <coughs> the retro, the retro flavour of these sort of pieces. I, I kind of uh, I've just got one in my cupboard here. Let me open this up. Uh, where is it? Come on, 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 come on. Let's get this one out. I can show you the other one. So that's the other one, which um, I got a little while ago. That was one of the three that they sent me there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I gotta be honest with you. They, uh, they're not a, they're not, they're not garbage. I think, I think, I think they're quite, quite, that's, that was the, the, the steel one. I can't, I think I, I, um, I, I made a video about it, and I, I w probably wasn't as open as I am here. I was probably saying, I was trying to give them what they want. But I, I got to be honest with you, just as a a nice sort of watch to give. To, I, I, if someone gave me one of these, I had the the quartz back. Yeah, I reckon it's kind of funky. I can't, I think it is kind of funky and cool. It is cool. Uh, it's not. It's not a watch that I'd consider part of my collection because it's not in that price range. But for a couple hundred bucks, it's a really cool piece. I gave one to my my son. Actually, I gave two. Two. I've got four boys. Two of them I gave um, one of these two. I gave John Suckerhorn one. He loves. It. They, they, they are. A, they're a good. They, yeah, they're a nice little thing to have. So, to answer your question, um, would I buy one with my money? Oh, uh, if I was looking for something in that price range, I don't think it's terrible. I I generally buy watches that are prestigious. They gotta hurt. They gotta hurt. But these, as a promotion, if you wanted to buy one for a gift, I, yeah, I, I would. I would. I think they're funky. I think they're funky as as anything. They're they're funky. They're they're affordable. They're not a luxury piece of horterology. But the price range there, I think it's it's funky. I, I love. I gotta say, I think they shoot. Look at this. They got a really cool box. That's that's funky. Um, I wouldn't consider these if I was doing a, a state of the collection review. Would I include them? Probably not. Probably not. But you know, I I I wouldn't give it to someone I disliked. It'd have to be someone I really liked um, to to get one of these. So. I reckon they're okay. they're they're cool watches. I reckon they're cool. They're uh, look look. There's a lot of companies making some cool stuff. A lot of stuff is garbage. If it was garbage, I wouldn't be doing the vid. Um, it's at the price point. You make your own decision. I'll put a few links in the description. They've asked me to do that, so I got a freebie. So 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 I'll I'll, I'll put a few links there for them. If you don't like it, hey, I completely get it. I got a freebie. I thought for the price of, of them giving me one, hey, I don't, I don't want to burn them. I, I think I think they're they're reasonably cool guys. Um, I wouldn't have my collection solely these type of watches. I like expensive, expensive. I, I kind of like watches, you know, five to ten thousand dollars. That's what I'm, I'm a watch snob. But you know, with that said and done, I, I don't think they're terrible. I, I don't think they're terrible. They're not the greatest watches known to man, but hey. Hey, they are what they are, and uh, they sent them to me for free, and I, I wouldn't give it to someone I didn't like. I'd have to really like them. I gave them to my two kids that I, I really like those guys. I gave them as an incentive. I said, hey, you're doing really well. Here's a present. So I, I kind of uh, got the kudos out of it. Um, and I did say, if you don't want it, I'll gladly keep it. And because I didn't want to give it to someone who's not going to appreciate it, so I think they're they're pretty cool. I gave one to Suckerhorn. Suckerhorn loves his. 
He loves his. <laughs> they they are a cool one. They're not a luxury tie-end piece. They're not part of my state of the collection. Well, you know, my my collection is is prestige luxury watches. It's 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 got to hurt. It's got to be painful. That's 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 kind of how it is. But uh, the, the, these 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 are cool watches. So there you go. That's my video for undone. You tell me what you think. The, I'm I'm I hope you don't think I've sold out because I'm purely highlighting these watches, and I, I do think they're reasonable. Do I think they're the greatest thing? Well, no, you can't have. I mean, a watch that is ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars is going to be very very different, but. It is a cool, funky thing, and uh, I, as I said, if I didn't like him, I wouldn't give it to my sons. And I gave one to John Suckerhorn. I wanted he's done a lot for me, and I thought, oh, here's a nice freebie I can give him, and uh, I'll get kudos out of it. So, yeah, yeah, I, th I think they're okay. So um, there you go. That's uh, that's the Archie Luxury review for Undone. I get heaps of heaps of requests. Everyone thinks. They can just start a business, particularly many of these Chinese businesses. They they come to me and say, oh, please promote my watch. Please promote my watch. I give you free, give you free. And it's just garbage, garbage. And I, I turn down so much garbage. Um, and um, that's the truth. I like to be truthful. That's one of the things that I can do is be truthful. Um, it's it's interesting. I... I uh, I've turned down quite a few, quite a few offers, and uh, uh, some I got wrong, some I got right. <laughs> that's how it goes. But I, I stand where I stand, and uh, yeah. So that's that's these two undone watches. Tell me what you think. Put a few comments below, and uh, if you think I'm a sellout, put a few comments below. If you think I'm spruken rubbish, put a few comments below. I think they're okay. I think they're okay. Um. And, uh, yeah, a full disclosure, so I don't want anyone accusing me of anything. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends.